Hello. For this podcast, we wanted to discuss the appearance of traditional styles of African American music in forms of media other than music. For example, in popular movies, TV, and novels, depictions of African American music often appear. Specifically, we will focus on the appearance of spirituals in popular media. For reference, spirituals refer to the religious music of African Americans during slavery. They are characterized by their call response structure, as well as the performative actions that accompany them, such as hand clapping, body movement and percussion, and unhindered displays of the overwhelming power of the Lord. Sounder was a film created in 1972 set in Louisiana. Here's a bit of backstory. The protagonist's father was given harsh punishment after stealing, and with that, subjects of hope and despair are displayed. The film tied in topics discussed in traditional spirituals and later on gospels and referenced these hardships faced as an African-American person, including the act of racism and discrimination. Part of the film's soundtrack is Give Me That Old Time Religion, which according to this is a traditional spiritual, but more modern adaptations have gospel approaches. Here is a brief excerpt from this song. It was good for my dear mother. It was good for my dear mother. So based on this little excerpt, we see different musical aspects. We see the call response techniques, foot tapping, and singing accompanied by the percussive instruments. The goal of the spiritual and gospel was to strengthen the theme of faith and hope. Throughout the film, religion was a guiding force. And um, these spirituals usually emphasize the challenges of being an African-American person. Spirituals also serve as a mode for expression and identity for many African-American and Black communities. Another movie that features abundant descriptions of traditional African-American music, specifically spirituals, is 12 Years a Slave. It is a film that is set in pre-Civil War America where a free Black man from upstate New York is abducted and sold into slavery. The opening scene of the film itself shows slaves singing a spiritual, My Lord Sunshine, which exhibits call and response structure and a firm belief in God. At another time, during a key moment in the movie, we get to hear the spiritual, Roll Jordan Roll. The slaves can be seen singing the spiritual at the graveside of a fellow laborer who passed away from exhaustion while picking cotton. While his companions sing the song, the protagonist stands dejected and expressionless. He first resists, but eventually joins in as his voice grows stronger and stronger. The performance presents the spiritual as a source of strength and hope. It is also an example where Christian hymns were used by slaves to convey their own desires and coded messages of escape. The performance exhibits musical aspects like call and response accompanied by hand clapping, which helps maintain a steady rhythm. We can also find depictions of spirituals in novels as well. For example, in Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, published in 1969, Angelou recounts her early life growing up in Stamps, Arkansas. In chapter 18, Angelou tells of her experiences at a Christian revival meeting. I will read a few excerpts from this chapter that characterize the spirituals that ensued. We see the use of traditional instruments and hand clapping when Angelou states, Her voice stabbed high up in the air and the church responded. From somewhere down front came the jangling sound of a tambourine. Hand claps snapped in the roof and solidified the beat. Next, we see the defining characteristic of spirituals, call and response. When she states, Our father, he was singing. You took my feet out the mire and clay. The church moaned, Amen. You who saved my soul one day, look, sweet Jesus, look down on these your suffering children. The church begged, look down, Lord. Lastly, Angelou describes those moments of spiritual overwhelm. She claims, another holler went up in front of me and a large woman flopped over, her arms above her head like a candidate for baptism. The emotional release was contagious. Little screams burst around the room like 4th of July firecrackers.